everyone. I'm Emily Weber. I work at Position Music. I'm here with Danny Koch, fantastic <laughs> film composer, musician, rock composer, and also trailer composer. Um, so he's working on a new album for us, and uh, we reached out to you guys for some questions that you'd like to ask Danny. And so we're going to address all those questions today, drink some spinach juice, and we're going to play a, a little sneak peek track from the next album that will be coming out probably sometime later in the year. But you never know. So list but, all the instruments you know how to play. Um, well, guitar mainly, and then bass and piano and drums. Mm -hmm. So nice. I can kind of tinker on... You're your Some own stuff. rock band. <laughs> I wanted little mini clones of myself when I was a little kid, so I guess having Pro Tools is the answer is to that. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so uh, this one I can pronounce. Luke asks, "How did you start? What instruments and tools did you use, and how did you get into the industry?" Well, well we kind of just answered the instruments question. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's been a long road, um, over 20 years of playing music and. I've done everything from, um, you know, I've been in multiple bands and touring and making albums and I've produced a bunch of bands in Sacramento where I'm from. I would record multiple albums and EPs and demos. Um, I played improvising live over DJs, you know, the last few years and um, was composing always in the bands I was in. I was always the writer and writing the riffs and, you know, drum parts and gotcha. everything. So just kind of naturally progressed into you know, I was really, really attracted to film score, just the depth of the music and the detail and the um, the challenge of it, uh, yeah, just musically kind of, challenging, yeah. Like, that kind of eventually segue into trailer music as well? And yeah, well, the trailer thing was just kind of, I was writing music that, without intending for it to be trailer, I was more into film score, just I'm used to the rock band and having intense, you know, mm -hmm. things that ended up working as like naturally being trailer stuff, but sure. I wasn't necessarily into trailer music or didn't even know about it. I love like, you know, every film score, classic film score you can think of, but that was more my inspiration. Right, right. So, but I just ended up putting too big of drums in there. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another Luke, a different Lucas, asks, do you have any advice for aspiring amateur composers? Well, I would say um, writing every day or as much as possible. Um, every time I'm writing, I feel like I'm, you know, Learning getting a step new. further and like learning and unlearning you know certain things mm -hmm. and uh, the biggest uh, benefit that I've had is just making friends with tons of musicians and I would go and hang out whether it's a mixer or a drummer or whoever and really sit and have a good conversation with them because you can you learn always so learn from, yeah. from a ton of people. So I think the more musicians you can hang out with and talk to and uh, you know I've had a lot of really great talented friends that I've worked with that I've picked up things and we share and that's how everybody kind of grows together. Yeah, I, I think that's how it works for um, for most musicians, definitely. And, and plus when you're in a room with someone who's better than you, you end up learning more and then you're always going to be in a room with someone who's not as good as you and you can teach them as well and it sort of enhances your own talent if you can teach somebody else also. Yep. I agree with that. Uh, Annie asks, boxers or briefs? <laughs> uh oh. Well, always boxers. <laughs> I haven't Me worn too. briefs since I was like six years old, and they were definitely Spider-Man or Transformers briefs. <laughs> I had I had a C-3PO underoos. I have those same ones. Uh, so screen handle Black Blade Vision asks, at what age did you compose your first track, and what is the name of that first track that you released, public or non-public? Um, well, my first probably track was when I was eleven. I started writing songs, you know, mm -hmm. early on. <laughs> wouldn't know I would call it composing or not, but <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the first uh, actually went to a beach house in 2007 and went away for a week and I had no internet, no cell phone. I just brought my computer and my guitars and recording stuff up to this beach house and basically just did a 15 minute um, mini score, a bunch of vignettes. Mm. And that was the first like official kind of like composing release. orchestral release. Um, it's rough now that I listen back, but it was like my first, you know, kind of getting out of being in a band and thinking that way about music and just doing my own oh, cool. thing. So that was nice. the first public showing. The of public that, I guess. showing. Yeah.